sub sub flappers. So you want to main Kaching. Then you've come to the right place. Kaching is certainly popular and desirable from her strict demeanor all the way to her dance-like combat features. Kaching has captured the hearts of many players since day one. However, not many has had the chance to actually play her and those who have absolutely love her. With me, I have been playing with Kaching since day one of the game's release and have tried all her builds and such to be able to tell you about my experience playing her and what you may expect. I try to keep all my reviews unbiased and at times people may get upset simply because my opinions are not in line with theirs. So again, I am saying this is just my opinion. Do with this information what you will. So with that said, let's get into it. First, let me start by saying Kaching isn't a character that you can understand just by looking at others playing her. I guess that's just another way of saying she isn't easy to play. While some will tell you, duh, just spam charge attacks, it's really not everything. Saying just spam charge attacks to do damage is like saying step on the gas pedal to drive a car. While yes, it's true, it's not the whole truth. Playing Kaching feels very much like juggling. You are paying attention to many things at the same time. Your own positioning, stamina management, enemy threats, and lightning stiletto placements. If you want to get the most out of Kaching, then understand your fighting environment is key. While Kaching's kit is certainly loaded with damage, she has one big advantage over other 5 star main DPS, and that is mobility. The difference between a good and bad Kaching is how well you can navigate the fight using your additional mobility. When played right, Kaching can feel like an absolute ninja as compared to just a charge attack bot. While using charge attacks can certainly have you breeze through the easier content, you may get punished heavily when challenging endgame without a second thought using your charge attack method. Now even though I say this, playing Kaching does not require you to be a superior gamer. Anyone can play her, in fact, she is quite mobile friendly to play. You do not have to be some 500 IQ gigabrain 3D chess grandmaster to pilot her. The reality is, saying she isn't easy is not saying that she is hard. I personally put Kaching above Razor in difficulty level but still under Klee. So she is quite friendly both for beginner players and for device compatibility. Another thing that differentiates Kaching from other DPS in the game currently is that she has two builds which are both viable, physical and electric are to this day both viable for clearing all the contents in the game. Now, since this is my opinion, physical build is easier to play. Hold your horses. Need I remind you that this is just my opinion. And the reason I say that is because the physical build is the charge attack spam build. You get the big deeps practically without doing much. If you want a big boost, get super contact and it's boom, bang, pow. Electro Kaching, while is very similar, is not as straightforward with the build. You have the 2 Glad 2 TF and the 4 Soother build for Electro versus the 2 Bloodstain 2 Glad physical build. But since this isn't a Kaching guide video, I'll just leave it here for artifacts before I get carried away. With the two different builds, Kaching's playstyle can also change and certain substat priorities may shift slightly as well. So just keep in mind how you would like to play her to adjust accordingly. Compatibility wise, Kaching is not all powerful. Being Electro, there are certain elements that she plays better with than others. For starters, if you are running a physical Kaching build, you likely want a cryo on your team, whereas Electro Kaching can be seen as a one girl army. Of course, with Electro, you could also rock Pyro for overload. But you will find at times the exploding side effect of overload can scatter your enemies and you end up having to chase each down individually which actually ends up taking longer to kill them. With Anemo, you can get great swirl reactions and if you have Venti, overload can actually be very impressive as it removes the issue of mob scattering. And with Kaching being able to deliver multiple hits, you end up procking it a lot which when paired with consistent power application does add up to a lot of damage. Where Vaporize and Melt are usually one big hit, overload usually can get more hits in. With Kaching being Electro, this is also where her biggest limitation comes into play, which comes to no fault of her own, but rather Electro's design. With the lack of a powerful reaction, Kaching is regarded as sub S tier main DPS, but through playing her for so long, I really don't see a big difference between 
an S tier main DPS like Child and Klee in comparison to my Kaching. Remember people, these tier lists really don't matter. And I'm not saying that to spite those who chase meta and tier lists. The reality is that DPS tests are done under near perfect scenarios that can rarely be recreated. It shows the character under their best scenarios. It's like saying, hey, you should try basketball as a career. It pays dozens of millions per year. In all honesty, I have chosen to play Kaching over Child and Klee as my main DPS for what many may find as a very cringy reason and contrary to what some flappers may be thinking. No, it's not because of her bobs and vagine, but rather, she is just fun to play. The dynamic in Kaching's playstyle really does elevate her in terms of candidates to main and build. It really is one of the main reasons why to this day the Kaching mains have been the most active and all-round amazing sub-communities of this game. Just go and visit their subreddit and you will see why this character is so loved. Now with her banner coming up, I know many more people will be joining us in worshipping our queen with hands-on experience. And I can't wait to have more people actually see firsthand why Kaching will always be held with such high regards. Because only the true travelers of culture mains Kaching. And with that concludes our video here and I hope to see you all in the next one. So like and subscribe so I can catch you all in tomorrow's video. Until then, stay safe and peace peace.